You're about to watch a credit card unboxing video. Let that sink in. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. So, she's here. The baby has arrived. In this package is the Apple card. The Apple card. I don't think I've ever been this excited about debt before, but here we are. But I have waited way too long. Let's unbox this bad boy. Boom, Apple card. I honestly don't know why I'm this excited over a piece of metal, but this is a piece of metal I'll probably end up using every day, so I guess that somewhat makes sense. And the fact that Apple makes this piece of metal, I mean, yes, it makes, it makes complete sense. It's totally rational. But now that you guys have seen what comes in the Apple card box, the unboxing of the Apple card, let's actually break down this Apple card, show you what it's all about. The Apple card itself is clearly made out of titanium metal. And I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more I start to use credit cards, the more I actually care about the build quality of the credit cards I'm using. Sounds kind of silly, I, I know, I know how that sounds. But seriously, the more you start to use credit cards, the more you start to use them on a daily basis like I do, the more you start to care about your credit card, making sure it's not peeling or falling apart, the more you actually wanna make sure your credit card is in good shape. First of all, it is ridiculously embarrassing to use something like this in public. I mean, with the corners fraying like that, Embarrassing. And if I wanted to replace this thing, the actual process of swapping this credit card out with a different credit card number in Apple Pay or just with autofill, it's a hassle, it's a process. Not trying to do that on a consistent basis. So yeah, I start to care more and more about the build quality of the credit cards I'm using as I start to use more credit cards. Which is why I was ecstatic when I first heard about the Apple card, saw the promo video, saw the titanium, saw the laser etching. I was, I was in love at first sight, literally. And you do get that titanium metal material for that superior build quality. And like we just talked about, you do get that laser etching, which creates a nice little shine, almost like a chrome finish with accents around the card itself. So between the clean matte white color, the titanium metal, and that laser etching with those chrome-like accents, Needless to say, this is a pretty aesthetically pleasing and sexy card. Now, it's not much thicker than my other credit cards. It's definitely a little bit heavier because of that metal, which allows this card to both feel and look amazing in your hands. But as of right now, this piece of metal is nothing more than just that, a piece of metal. We actually have to activate the Apple card to start using it. And the activation process itself is also something pretty cool worth checking out. So let me show you how that goes down. Literally that simple. No 1-800 numbers, no waiting, no going online. You put the phone up to the actual envelope, you click activate, you're activated. And with the Apple Card, you do get two choices. You could use the physical Apple Card or you could use the digital Apple Card that's located in your iPhone wallet app. And that's actually something I wanted to talk about. The actual purchase process with the Apple Card is awesome. It's like full disclosure, full clarity on what you're actually doing. Within the wallet app on your iPhone, you can see the full Apple Card rundown of everything you could possibly want or need to know about your Apple Card. You can see purchases, updates, transactions, balances, spending habits, cashback earnings, all of that on one screen within the wallet app. And then with just one more tap, you can see a crystal clear indication of what you owe when and what you'll be charged in interest on your Apple Card if you don't pay that full amount by a certain day. And that is what I think is actually most powerful about the Apple Card, that full disclosure, that complete clarity you get with this line of credit. I think it is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to find another credit card on the market that does it like the Apple Card is doing it, which is how it should be. I mean, I get it. Credit card companies are trying to make money. They want to make interest on your purchases. I get it. It's a Business, but there shouldn't be hidden fees and it shouldn't be hard to see exactly what you owe, when you owe it, and what you'll pay on interest if you don't pay that full amount. That's what separates the Apple Card and in my opinion makes it one of the best in terms of user experience. And then the cherry on top of course is that you do get cash back with this card, which is delivered in daily cash back, not monthly billing cycle cash back. Which means yes, whatever the cash back you get on purchases will be delivered to you on a daily basis, not every 30 or whatever your billing cycle number of days is. So it's nice to have cash back on the Apple Card and daily cash back, which is unlike any kind of cash back I get on any other card in my wallet right now. But having said all that, despite how beautiful this thing is, despite the cash back and the daily cash back, as a credit card, the Apple card itself 
is kind of just okay. The Apple Card doesn't have the best interest rates in the market. They're okay, but they're really not super great. And even those cash back amounts you get aren't that impressive compared to some of the other cash back percentages I'm getting on some of my other cards. With the Apple Card, you're getting 1% cash back on all purchases, 2% cash back on Apple Pay purchases, and then 3% cash back on pretty much all Apple purchases. So if I'm being honest, the Apple Card isn't gonna save me a whole lot of money. The cash back isn't really gonna make that big of a difference in my daily credit card workflow. But I'm mostly gonna be using it for in-person situations. I don't know if you wanna call that a flex. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's a flex. It's a credit card from Apple. But to be able to use a card as beautiful and as sexy as this in person, that alone kind of made it worth it for me. And I mean, come on, if I'm on my next date and I slap this thing onto the table to pay for dinner and this happens, and she doesn't fall in love right away just because of that sound, forget it, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. That's all there is to it. But as a whole, beautiful physical card, amazing, clear, super easy to use user experience within the actual wallet app to see this line of credit and everything that's going on with it. Decent interest rates, pretty good cash back percentages, and above all else, the clink. So if you're the least bit interested in actually having a metal credit card made out of titanium in your hands like this from Apple, I suggest picking one up. There's no annual fee, there's no hidden fees. Everything you need to know about the card is right in the wallet app so you never miss a thing. But enough of me praising this thing. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Apple Card, whether or not you'll be picking one up, whether or not you already have, everything you think about this thing. I love it, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. This is not good. This, this card, just because of the way it feels, is making me want to swipe it. It's like taking over my body. This is not good. I will see you guys in my next video. It's almost like this thing has control over me. Oh no, what, what, what is happening? Oh no, I guess we're gonna go make a purchase. Oh, oh geez.